Often we'd like to have the mind of God about our situation, but aren't willing to communicate with him on his terms. For he's spirit, and therefore one must be guided by the spirit, like the old man Simeon, who was led to the temple by God's spirit to lay eyes on the child who would save the world. And like Ezekiel was led to the valley of the dry bones by the Holy Spirit, you must be led as well. And yes, even Jesus, who was led into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil, you must be led by the Spirit of God. Romans 8.14 says, All who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God, for we are to live by the Spirit and not gratify the desires of the flesh, according to chapter 5 of Galatians, which also says, And if we live by the Spirit, we are to be guided by the Spirit. Are you guided by the Spirit, friend? It's interesting that the parents of John the Baptist came to the revelation of what name to give him by the leading of the Holy Spirit. When it came time to circumcise a child, it was assumed that a baby boy wouldn't be named after his father. But the baby's mother, Elizabeth, said he was to be named John. Now John's father, Zacharias, was mute and could not hear the name his wife had given his son. But when asked what to name the child, he took a writing tablet as noted in Luke 1.63, and wrote the name John. Scripture says that those witnessing this were amazed. What were the odds that they would choose the same name, a name that was not even in either of their family lines? Throughout God's word, God's will is revealed and confirmed to his people through the leading of the Spirit of God.